What's going on, everybody? It's Faith Dating Coach Elliot Scott, and as you can see, we're outside. It's a nice day today, so I was going to go for a nice little walk, and then um, I was like, hey, let's make a video, because I was watching something last night that, hey, this guy was talking about evolutionary psychology, and, the, and I was watching something scary, and he was talking about how, you know, from an evolutionary perspective, we got as far as we did because we avoided um, uncertainty, and I thought that would be a very good segue into this video so you hear everyone constantly all dating coaches whether it's cliche or not you hear people talk about confidence is the best thing a woman can wear confidence is key love yourself first okay then other before others love like all you hear all that but i want to tell you why from a scientific evolutionary psychological perspective on why that's so important so kind of going back to what I said about that scary thing of uh, the uncertainty when humans for, or whatever the fuck we were, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands, millions of years ago, all the way up to this point. Okay. We got to this, you know, to now to modern day, we survived, or at least some of us, some of us did, um, due to avoiding risk, staying away from uncertainty, being very cautious, when you are very cautious, good things sometimes happen to you. So, for example, if you are a girl who is putting out on date one, I'm not saying I'm against it, but if you're a girl putting out on date one, you are taking a huge risk because you don't know exactly where this guy stands or what this guy is looking for. But from an evolutionary perspective, if you and I were sitting down at night in front of a bush and I see the bush wiggle, okay, a branch move, I'm like, hey, we better get up and go. That might be a lion. And you're like, Elliot, chill. It's not no lion. You know, well, sometimes or it only takes once for a lion to jump past the, or jump out of the bush, tear us to shreds, and then I'm not here to tell you this story, right? I mean, so to get as far as we did, it's due to um, being cautious and to avoid risk and uncertainty. So with that being said, when you are a confident, high value woman who acts the part, who acts highly sought after. What does this tell men? It gives men certainty. The only reason, ladies, a man doesn't commit to you unless he's not looking for a relationship, of course. But the, the reason he's not choosing you over other women or the reason everything is going well, but he still doesn't commit is uncertainty. He's unsure about you. And if you're carrying yourself in that way, so for example, a lot of you will tell me, Elliot, I don't want to come off needy. I don't want to come off clingy. I don't want to come off this way or that way. And your behavior show it. Then you sit back and you were to reflect on this. And you, you know, you'll be like, well, I can see why I'm in the position I'm in now. He's taking me for granted. He, he wants the assets because he's trying to do the same thing. He's trying to get the assets, right? While, um, avoiding the cost, the risk, the uncertainty. So the best position for him possibly to be in is to keep you around, give you a little hope, give all, get all these assets while not actually paying the cost, AKA transitioning into the relationship. Okay. That's what's most beneficial for him. And that's what guys are going to do when they're unsure about you. When you're unsure about yourself based on how you carry yourself in the, in, in the inter interaction. So, on the opposite end, when you are a confident woman, okay, you don't lack self-esteem, you don't lack confidence, what does that look like? That is a high-value woman that carries herself well, that has structure, that doesn't break just because she likes a guy and gives a guy a million chances. That's the guy women, or uh, that's the, sorry, that's the woman that a lot of guys want to be after several reasons for that. Number one, you know, the way the brain looks at confidence in 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 a lack of confidence is um is in terms of risk factors right like there's a reason like we're very evidence based creatures there's a reason she's acting this way whether it's good or bad if it's bad i don't want that i don't want that risk i don't want that rubbing off on me there uh, she's like that i don't want to be like that but if you're a confident high value woman there must be a reason there must be a reason why you're that way. I want some of that. I want that reason. You're sure of yourself, so it helps me be sure of it. That's very, very beneficial um, when it comes to dating and attraction. But if you're not that, but you still have a little, uh, some assets, right? A guy looks at that and says, I know I could take advantage of that. I know it sounds effed up. That's not even a guy thing. That's just a human thing. Okay. If like, 
if a guy sees a girl who is unsure about herself or doesn't, she, whatever, you know, it, it's just the truth. He'll look at that and be like, well, I can get the assets from this girl and, and the risk of me being turned down is way less likely because look at it. Look how she's carrying herself. She's like, ladies, I'll talk to so many clients and there's so many of you, right? Who will give a guy a million chances. You'll give a guy a million chances who don't deserve it. And then you come to me, spend $250 for a session. And then you, and you're wondering why you're in the situation you're in. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, look, look at the dynamics. Like you're, you're not carrying yourself with this high value woman. He's definitely not going to commit to that, but he'll take the assets from it. Why? Because from an evolutionary perspective, we like advantages. We want to gain advantages. If I can have my cake and eat it too, without paying the cost, right? It's beneficial for me. So to sum this up, ladies, if you want to be very successful with men and stop attracting the same type of men, your behavior and your mindset has to change. It's very cliche, but like I said, from an evolutionary perspective, we like confidence for a reason. We avoid people who lack self-esteem and lack confidence for a reason. It's because we're evidence-based. There's a reason why you're that way. I don't want any of that. Okay. Instead, I want the woman who's high value, who carries herself well, because a lot of guys probably want that. And if I get it over these other men, it says that I have something they don't. It moves me up in the hierarchy, so on and so forth. Okay. That being said, ladies. Oh, by the way, I have a, I have a free guide. I have a free guide that, um, that I'm going to put down below that talks about all this stuff. It's my how to hook a guy um, guide. It's an audio version also. I, I want to give it away for free because a lot of people have been who bought it or telling me this is amazing. Everyone should have this. Everyone should have this. It helped me so much. It got me the guy I wanted. Yada, yada, yada. It's, I mean, that, I mean that in a good way. So if you're interested, the link is down below. I'm going to give it away for free. Um, just click the link, get, send, uh, put the email in you want me to send it to, and it's all yours, okay? I just wanted to give you guys a lot of value. So that being said, I love you all. Take care and peace.